Just a quick one guys before we get into today's video, we have just released our July drop, we've got the brand new Rangers Warrior t-shirts, along with the no one likes us we don't care tees. Do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description, or go to rfcclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Guys, in today's video we're going to be going through the Hamburg game and which player has Rangers at fans and people blown away in general by his performance. We'll go through that, whilst also going through tomorrow's upcoming Champions League draw. We'll discuss the sort of ins and outs and all of the rest of it, maybe go through a few other big bits and pieces. Guys, a different kind of background today. I'm currently on holiday and I need to admit I uh, yeah dropped a bollock. I basically booked my flight whilst Rangers were playing the friendly yesterday. I didn't know um, until obviously the day of the friendly um, and I got off at half time so I missed all the goals. However, I have watched it back. I have watched the highlights back and all the rest of it. Um, and yeah, one player in particular has stood out and as I said, blown fans and pundits away. That of course being Kieran Dow interesting stuff in that ma match Rangers of course winning the second preseason friendly after losing to Newcastle beating Hamburg 2-1 a good team by the way Hamburg always there or thereabouts in terms of the promotion charge in the Bundesliga 2 uh, and Rangers won the game 2-1 two first half goals um, Tavernier and Fashion Zakala but as I said, the man that takes away the plaudits is new signing Kieran Dow now when Kieran Dow was signed a lot of people weren't that optimistic about him in terms of they were like, oh, he was just a free transfer from a championship club. However, as I said, we need to give these guys some um, so a chance. He comes from a good pedigree of Everton and, as I said, has been lauded, played Premier League football. And sometimes just the market that Rangers are in, we always kind of look for those players, either that young and up and coming, one, a very good player that's kind of lost their way and we've got to try and nurture them, getting back to their best, or a player at the end of their sort of career. And Kieran Dow sort of met that sort of criteria as the sort of middle where you know he had a good start to life as a footballer but kind of lost his way a little bit and it was up to us to try and get him to be good but so far in pre-season fantastic and yesterday's performance in that first 45 minutes was really really good calm uh, looked calm and assured good on the ball in the midfield for Rangers and as I said a lot of pundits and fans blown away by his performance and think that they've got a player on his hand as I said Dow wasn't afraid to put his foot in on several occasions showed great persistence to win back the ball with confident and time tackles such persistent was rewarded when going forward too as he broke from the deeper role and helped set up Rangers for the first goal off the ball, the 25-year-old looks a player who's well aware of what's going on around him and is confident enough to demand the ball or tell a teammate when he has to pass it to others. So yeah, very, very good uh, to see one of the new boys fitting in ever so well and performing at that level. But as I've said so many times, yes, he was fantastic and I'm not taking that away from him. Pre-season is still pre-season. I don't like to get caught up in the highs and brought down into the lows because pre-season, as I said, is pre-season. I remember we were looking at Rabi Matondo last season when he signed in pre-season games. Honestly, he looked like the second come of Neymar Jr., but it, it turned out to be a flop when he played in, in competitive games. So hopefully, as I say, Kieran can carry on, and but a very, very good start and, and a fantastic win for Rangers. Now it's on to Olympiakos at Ibrox before Hoffenheim and then the start of the Premiership seasons here. However, there is going to be a... A Champions League draw. Remember, Rangers have got to navigate two ties over the next couple of weeks. Uh, well, two ties, two matches, four games, uh, hopefully, if we get first through the, the third qualifying round. But the draw for that, guys, is tomorrow. I will be doing a live stream, as always, for the draw, just a reaction to see who we get. Um, and basically, I just wanted to tell you who we could get. There's four teams uh, that we have the possibility of playing. Uh, should we win that, we, of course, then go into the playoff round. We win the playoff round. We go into the Champions League group stage for the second consecutive year. So, as I said, the draw is tomorrow. The first leg will be played on the 8th and 9th of August. The second leg will be played on the 15th of August. We're currently seeded and we are in the league path, which includes Rangers, Braga, PSV, Hindhoven and Marseille. Um, and the winners of which who we could get in the next round is either Storm Graz 
FK TSC Tobola, uh, the winners of the tie involving Genk and the winners of the tie involving Dina Pro 1. Most likely, if the winners or the favourites of those ties do go through, then it will likely be Dina Pro 1 and Genk that we play. But obviously, there's a main standout team that we're probably looking at that we want. As I said, I don't like to be disrespectful to any teams at this stage, but all four of those teams we should be beating. We should be beating as Rangers Football Club. We shouldn't be, be, be losing those ties. But the one that stands out to me is obviously FK TSC Tabola. They finished second in the Serbian League last year, never played in European football before. Um, as I said, a bit of a mix-up in the Serbian League. Usually it was Savannah Zvezda who win it, who did win it. Uh, Red Star Belgrade, that is. Partizan Belgrade usually comes second or there or thereabouts. Um, however, Partizan stunk the place out in the Serbian League last year. I think they finished fourth. Um, and actually it was T FK TSC who, who went through. So that's the team that we won. The team to probably avoid, I would probably be looking at, is Genk. Um, the Belgian sides are pretty good. But again, in terms of our quality, in terms of what we bring to the table... I think we should be beating all four of those teams. The only problem is, is when we go to the sort of playoff round, which we'll get to in a moment. But as I said, the draw for the third qualifying round is tomorrow. Is tomorrow. And as I said, the, the, the teams that we can play are Sturm Graz, FK, TSC, Tabola, um, Genk, or the winners of that tie against Genk, most likely will be Genk, or the winners of the tie involving Dina Pro 1, which again is likely to be Dina Pro 1. So... <clears throat> If we do qualify, we then go into the playoff round, as you probably already know. If we lose, we just go straight into the Europa League group stages, I think in pot one as well. So there is no playoff round for the Europa League, but we go into the in, into the playoff round. We're given 5 million quid, Champions League patches on the jersey for the playoff round. So that's a bare minimum of where we want to be getting to. Um, getting that five million pounds is a bare minimum. But then going to the playoff round, we're likely to go on and play PSV Eindhoven or Marseille, which would obviously be a, a lot of a tough test for Rangers to sort of get by. However, we've shown in recent years, I do think PSV have got worse since last year, actually. They've, they've lost a few players. Cody Gakpo played for PSV last year, obviously went to Liverpool. Xavi Simmons, again, just went to Paris Saint-Germain via a, a loan to RB Leipzig. So they are weaker, PSV. Um, so if if we beat them last year, we could probably do it again. Uh, but Marseille is another one. But we do need to get through that third qualifying round first, ladies and gentlemen. And that's, as I said, that draw will be tomorrow. So really, really looking forward to that. I'll be live here on the channel doing the draw for that one. But Rangers fans, that's all I've really got for you today. Uh, no more updates with regards to sort of Danilo um, and so Jose Sinfuentes. We're working on those deals. Hopefully this week or next week brings some confirmation of some new exciting signings ahead of the new campaign. But yeah, things are starting to run very, very smooth and we're starting to get to the Premiership season. But the headlines, of course, today is Kieran Dow blowing everyone away in that game against Hamburg. But Rangers fans, do let me know your thoughts on his performance. Let me know some of your thoughts on the other debutants, of course, Serial Des is playing his first game. And let me know who you want to play in the third qualifying round of the Champions League. As I said, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Remember, we do have Rangers t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.